Local Young Single Adult Missionary Couple, Africa West Area Training. Additional information about the concepts covered here can be found in the references at the end of the presentation. Congratulations and welcome to your calling as a local YSC missionary couple. Brothers and sisters, we welcome you to your new role with the Young Single Adult. We are excited to work together and they combine our effort in building the kingdom of God. Frères et sœurs, nous vous souhaitons la bienvenue dans votre nouvelle responsabilité avec les jeunes adultes seuls. Nous sommes très heureux de travailler avec vous. Young single adults are a vital part of the rising generation. If we don't prepare them carefully, the future will face challenges. These young adults are the future of the church, the future of families, and the future of the nation. You can see now how important your calling is and the great responsibility you carry. Young single adults trust and look up to you. They want to be like you. They will observe your actions and learn from you. Be a good example so that they can learn how to become good husbands and wives. Honor your covenant you have made in the house of the Lord. That's true, Sister Kyung. Some of you may be young, but the Lord has chosen you and he will refine your abilities. Think about Mormon in the Book of Mormon who was appointed by the people of Nephi to be the leader of their armies at the age of 15. At 16, he did go forth at the head of the army of the Nephite against the Lamanites. So you don't need to fear, brothers and sisters, and we encourage you to keep learning, as the learning is an endless process. Learn by listening, observing, and asking questions with faith and the confidence. Learn about your responsibilities and the act accordingly. We love our senior couples. They have played a key role in my conversion, as there were no young full-time missionaries in my country when I joined the church. So you will play an important role in their growth and the conversion. We are grateful for your faith, commitment, and love for the Savior Jesus Christ. We thank you for your time and your consecrated service. We promise you that when you consecrate ourselves to the Lord's work, the Lord will bless us with the resources needed to do the good. We testify to you that God knows you and He loves you. He will bless you if you go to Him. Jesus is the Christ, the Savior of the world. He lives. And the President Russell M. Nelson is the prophet of God on the earth today. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's see how you fit into the Young Single Adult Program. You are called to provide support on a state level for the YSA program and the gathering place. You will interact often with the state president, bringing information and training from the Coordinating Council YSA missionary couple. This information will help both of you in counseling about the YSA, supporting them as they run a successful gathering place and mentoring the returning missionaries. There are many others working alongside you. All the gray boxes in the organizational chat represent supporting roles like yours. Your coordinating council missionary couple is here to answer questions and provide training for you and your stake presence regarding the gathering place, your YSA committee, and the rollout of resources to your stake. As you gather together and listen to the spirit, you will be able to determine how to best support the YSA. These are the qualifications the area asks for in order to fill your calling. A loving couple to model temple marriage and nurture wisely. Be able to serve 20 plus hours per week. Be willing to shadow lead and mentor. 
have experience and maturity and also relates well with you. Have good communication and follow through skills. Be proficient with technology like WhatsApp, video conferencing, spreadsheets, etc. Be able to have fun regardless of the situation and have great big hearts. Wow, you must be an amazing couple. Don't worry if you are not perfect in these areas. Just keep trying because you were chosen by the Lord for one of the most important callings in the Africa West area. We think it will be one of the most rewarding calls of your life. We encourage you to continue to strive to model these attributes as you carry on your duties with the YSC. Your main purpose as a local YSC missionary couple are to love the YSC and help them strengthen their faith in Jesus Christ. You will do this in the following areas. The first one is the YSA committee. Life is really evolving for the YSA and it's hard to maintain a committee when the members are changing. Your loving presence will provide consistency and support as you mentor them by being a shadow leader. Shadow leadership means you are supporting in the background and encouraging the YSA to stand tall and lead in the front. Gathering places. If you don't know much about gathering places, you'll soon become an expert. Your role in the gathering place will be to welcome, track, hug, and remind. You enjoy watching these YSA thrive as they take ownership of their gathering place. Transitioning missionaries. You are standing as watchmen on the tower as you strengthen returning missionaries. You will track their return dates and reach out at the end of their mission to help them set goals, build a local mentor team, and connect to their gathering place. Let's take a closer look now at each of these, beginning with the stake YSA leaders and their committee. The stake YSA committee is led by a stake male and female YSA leader. They are your key players and main points of contact. You share your love and testimony of Jesus Christ and encourage them as they lead the Stake YSA committee in the work of salvation for their peers. You will shadow lead them by listening to them, encouraging their ideas and helping them see how they can be executed, supporting them in their interactions with the Stake presidency and helping them train the YSA committee. The Stake YSA Committee is the heart of the YSA program. It is made up of a male and female YSA leader from each ward and the Stake YSA leaders. As you minister to the Stake leaders, they will know how to minister to their committee by meeting and communicating frequently for encouragement and follow-up. The committee will minister to their YSA by reaching out to learn their needs through surveys, in-person visits, phone calls, and messaging. You will work with the committee like a good parent does. As they choose their classes based on the needs of the YSA, you may need to teach them how to divide up their responsibilities, give clear assignments, follow up with return and report on the assignments, evaluate activities and make changes based on what the committee reports and express gratitude for their work. It will take patience, consistency, and follow through to help them succeed. Training models 6, 8 to 10, and 12, referenced at the end of the presentation, can give you more ideas to consider as you guide the YSA committee through this process. Now that you know about your role with the YSA committee, let's learn more about the gathering place. If you have questions about the stake YSA leaders or the stake YSA committee, now would be a good time to pause the video and ask your coordinating council missionary couple. The Lord loves young single adults and so does our prophet. Through Revelation, President Russell M. Nelson has directed us to organize gathering places for the young single adults. Gathering places gather both people and resources from the Lord's Church to bless the YSA. For example, Gathering places have activities, which means they have fun. A gathering place is also a great place for institute and gospel learning. Speaking of learning, improved internet is coming to all the gathering places 
which makes them a perfect fit for BYU Pathway, literacy programs, and other academics. Gathering places give opportunities for service. Stake members sacrifice their time to teach. The YSA care for the gathering place and share what they learn. Gathering places are a great place to work on family history, which is a big draw for members and non-members alike. Gathering places are the perfect spot to host many of the self-reliance classes like Start and Grow Your Business, Emotional Resilience and more. Under the direction of the stake presidents and YSA leaders, Gathering Places can also offer skills training in courses like soap making or computer technology to help our YSA become more self-reliant. With all these resources, people come, a lot of people come, and many of them are non-members, which makes missionary work a key component of the Gathering Place. Another really important part of the Gathering Place is, it's where YSAs can meet other YSA to share their faith in God and commitment to covenants. This is a crucial element for successful dating and becoming sealed in the Lord's house and you are an example of the relationship they are hoping to find there. Now that we've seen what gathering places can be, let's look closer at the mission of the gathering place. Our gathering place is defined as a designated church location for young single adults and their friends to gather and participate in priesthood directed and YAC-led experiences and activities. Priesthood directed and YAC-led means the stake president and the stake YAC leaders are working closely together to choose which of the church's resources they want to include in their gathering place. As we talked about in the section on YAC committees, it's during this time of defining their gathering place classes and activities where the YAC committee really learns how to lead and you will guide them through your shadow leadership. The resources to run the gathering place come from the donations of faithful church members all over the world. And now after approval from the First Presidency, gathering places across the Africa West area are receiving a special donation that includes computers, skills equipment, supplies and increased food budget. We are so excited for the opportunities these donations will bring and it is important for the YSAs to be good stewards of them. The Doctrine and Covenant tells us that where much is given, much is required, and that the Lord will make every man accountable as a steward over those blessings. Along with the young single adults, the area YSA missionary couples also have a stewardship responsibility. They turn in a monthly report to the area presidency that measures how gathering places and these donations are helping the YSA strengthen their testimony in Jesus Christ, increase their skills, find employment, share the gospel, and find an eternal companion. Just like the parable of the talents, we are asked to give an accounting of what we have done with the master's gifts to us, and this accounting will help determine whether the increased funds will continue to come to the gathering places. So we need your help with this stewardship and reporting. As your stake YSA committee divides up the responsibilities to run the gathering place, we encourage you to have them include these two positions. 1. Gathering Place Steward This is the YSA in charge of the gathering place each time it is open. They ensure the building and the physical equipment are protected, cleaned and secured, and they oversee the collecting of information for the monthly report. Your role is to remind and encourage. 2. Budget Steward the budget steward's role is to track the spending, including these additional sacred funds, and keep the committee informed so they stay within budget for each activity. Forms to help with these duties are included in the gathering place forms packet, referenced at the end of the presentation. You will collect the information the YSA gather and report it to your YSA Coordinating Council missionary couple at the end of each month. Last in our definition section is that a gathering place follows God's pattern as a house of order. To help with this, one of your responsibilities will be to study the guidelines and standards for gathering place and skill education activities document to make sure your gathering place falls within the legal guidelines of the church.
This very important document is included in the Gathering Place Forms packet. Please take the time to be familiar with it so you can help the committee and protect the church. That was a lot of serious stuff. Let's move on to some exciting things like the purpose. The purpose of the Gathering Place is to strengthen young single adults spiritually, socially, emotionally, educationally, and professionally. The course content for all of this strengthening comes from the many church programs being gathered in. It would take all of you working together to find members in your stake to teach these classes and skills and to encourage them to dedicate their time and talent to the Lord's storehouse through the gathering place. Now for that rewarding part we promised in the beginning. As you work with these energetic young single adult leaders to organize and maintain their gathering place, you will see them begin to grow and succeed as they reach the goals of the gathering place to stay on the covenant path, be powerful leaders, be sealed in the temple, fulfill their divinely appointed roles of providers and nurturers and grow closer to God. With your watch and care, the gathering place can truly be a refuge from the storm for our young single adults. Our Father in Heaven wants to gather us because there is great strength and safety in gathering. He has said that the gathering together upon the land of Zion and upon her stakes is for a defense and a refuge from the storm. If you have questions about the gathering place, now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss them with your Coordinating Council missionary couple. Transitioning Missionaries Last but certainly not the least is your role of watchmen on the tower for our returning missionaries. Many of our missionaries are new members of the church themselves and or come from part or non-member families. This means that they may not have supportive families or a place to stay when they return home. With these challenges and big life decisions looming ahead of them as their mission draws to a close, many are worried about their future. Your role is to help them by doing the following. Work with your stake president to create and maintain a tracking list of all missionaries and their return dates. Reach out to the missionaries by email, Facebook, or message them six weeks before they return home. Encourage them to set goals and build a mentor team of family and friends who can provide counsel for their future. Serve as a liaison with ward and stake leaders to help the missionary build his or her mentor team. Plan with the stake YSA committee to welcome them on their returning home and connect them to the gathering place. Continue to be watchmen for them at the gathering place. If you have questions about the transitioning missionaries, now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss them with the Coordinating Council missionary couple. This may feel like a big job, because it is. You are playing such an important role in the lives of these YSA and the gathering of Israel. You are also showing an example of love and a reminder that marriage is a rewarding part of God's plan. Always remember that you also have a team. Your coordinating council why it's a missionary couple will be here to answer any questions you have and support and encourage you in your calling. They will communicate with you regularly, not only to collect information about the good things happening in your gathering place, but also to provide training and be your connection with the area office through the area YSA missionary couples. These missionary couples are a wonderful support group and we know you will find your interaction with them to be an uplifting part of your calling as well. Thank you for being willing to serve. We leave you with the words of President Henry B. Eyring. You can have the utmost assurance that your power will be multiplied many times by the Lord. All he asks is that you give your best effort and your whole heart. 
Do it cheerfully and with the prayer of faith. The Father and His beloved Son will send the Holy Ghost as your companion to guide you. Your efforts will be magnified in the lives of the people you serve. And when you look back on what may now seem trying times of service and sacrifice, the sacrifice will have become a blessing, and you will know that you have seen the arm of God lifting those you served for Him and lifting you. Additional support resources are available through the church website and app and your YAC Coordinating Council Missionary Couple. Thank you for watching.